Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I was playing around in my supplies, and I thought I'd make a cute, quick journal card. I've got a 5x7 piece of cardstock, and then this is a strip or a piece of a gel print. It's probably about three quarters of an inch. It's been adhered down, and I've gone around the edge with Distress Inks. I've got a little snowflake. This is like a quartet set with Beeline Designs, and I thought it would be kind of pretty to use it as a background. I've got Mermaid Lagoon Distress Inks because I wanted a little bit of a contrast on this page. So I'm just going to stamp this a couple of times and even not re-ink it. Just let it lightly leave a little pattern on the background. So we're just kind of adding a little bit there. The next thing I do is I'm going to use some the best glue ever by Scrap Perfect. And the reason being is when you put the glue down, if you let it air dry, it becomes tacky. So if you have objects that are hard to adhere, this is a great way to do that. You do have to wait for the glue to dry, but it, it helps it, I think, to be able to do this. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make kind of a U shape on here because I plan to glue down some of this fibers. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stack these snowflakes on top of these little banner pieces. And I'm also going to put some little rhinestones on here. So I'm just going to put a drop of glue on each snowflake and on each little banner piece. I'm going to go ahead and flip over the sentiment that's here. And I'm going to put some glue on the back side of it as well. I'm going to put a little bit more because I know it's going to be a bumpy area where I set it down. So I'm going to let that air dry for a moment. And while this is drying, I'm going to take my fibers here and I'm going to tie a little bow. So I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail and tie up a little bow. And I'll adjust it. I'll do it a couple of times until I get the look that I want. So I've got one part of the bow ready, and I know that I'm going to put this down and go to about over here, so I want to make another bow. Oh, I think I got it. Okay, so looking at the glue that is on here, I'm going to position this bow. I'm trying to get it to where I can see it over here, and then I'm going to feed the yarn on top till I get it to the other side and I'll cut off the excess here so we kind of got a little line going across there now all right I'm going to give it just a couple more minute or two for this to dry and then I'll be right back well I've waited just a little bit for this glue to turn almost transparent so now what I'm going to do is start putting things together I'm just going to pick up the little rhinestones and put them in the center of the snowflakes. All right, and then I'm going to take the snowflakes and put them on top of each one of these little banner pieces. These little banner pieces are from the Peacock Christmas kit that I have in my shop, and I just thought it'd be kind of fun to make a little journal card with them. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Aline's Tacky Glue. First, I'll kind of line these up, and then I'm going to adhere these into place. I guess I missed the glue. All right, so I'm going to line these up on the underneath the ribbon or, or yarn that I have here. That's also from the Christmas Peacock Kit. All right, then I've got the little sentiment here. It says Merry Christmas. I'm going to kind of put it over the banner a little bit and onto the background like that. And then I've got a little bulb pen here, and it's a Christmas tree charm, and I thought it'd be really cute to put it hanging off of the top of this little banner piece. So I'm just going to slip it through the bow here. And then, see there? I made a little cute card that if you put it in a shallow pocket, you'll see all of this sticking out in the journal, or it'd be good to put into an envelope and send to somebody. Here's another one that I made, same concept. I just used a snowflake charm and the happy holidays little saying. 
I decided to come down further with the uh, yarn on this side, but I think it turned out pretty cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed just a quick little tutorial to kind of inspire you. Do check out the description box below for the Christmas Peacock Kit. I still have some of those available, so definitely pick one of those up. You'll enjoy it, I know. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. See you later. Bye.